Are you sitting comfortably? When you hear a good story, you are transported to another place, another time. You leave your own mind for a moment. And that's what good storytelling can really do. And I think that's something that we all need from time to time. I'm Shona, I'm from Ayr, but I live in Glasgow, best city in the world, and I'm a storyteller. I know, who knew that was an actual job? I've always been drawn to folklore and um, traditional cultures and traditional heritage, and I loved like witches and fairies and all that stuff growing up. But I think I became a storyteller when I was at uni in London, and it's one of those things that you don't know where you're from until you leave it. And I realised that I'm really Scottish. And I had all this stuff that I could use in, on my course. I had all these songs and silly dances and stories. And, and we were encouraged to like lean into what we had. So I did. And then um, I built a practice around celebrating traditional cultures and, um, and became a storyteller. Day to day, as a storyteller, I do perform traditional stories and it's what you imagine. Sometimes I'm inside a yurt or I'm around a fire telling stories about myths and legends. But I'm also, uh, I call myself an applied storyteller, so that means I use storytelling as a tool to help other people to share their voices. So at the moment I work for a charity called the Village Storytelling Centre and through them I'm in residence with a large homeless charity and I work with um, vulnerable people who have gone through more than anybody should in their lives and I help them to shape their stories and share their stories in the way that feels safe and appropriate for them. I think storytelling is relevant precisely because it's a bit detached from reality. So if I'm working with uh, women that have experienced domestic violence, for example, I'm not asking them to recount their trauma. All we're talking about is a princess in a tower. And it's up to the person that's participating with me to go in as far as they want in, in terms of their own personal experience. They're in control of that journey. When I'm telling a story, it's very physical, it's a very tangible feeling. You feel connected to the past and everything that's gone before and all the wisdom that's there. But you also feel very connected to like who's in front of you and the future in front of you. And um, you can feel people's attention. That sounds totally cheesy. I know what I sound like, I can feel the future, but you can. So in the 70s in the UK, there was a big revival of storytelling. And at that time, this sort of new agey look, the aesthetic of like leather waistcoats and mandalas and long hair, that was kind of set in stone for what people think storytelling is. And it does have this air of something a bit airy fairy, hippy dippy. And I do try to move away from that a little bit, but actually, it's saying that people feel connected to nature, aware and connected to the world. And ultimately, hippy-dippy means you're connected to yourself and to other people. 